Stephen Peters struck his first hundred of the summer while David Willey made the highest score of his career to keep Northamptonshire on top of Yorkshire going into the final day of their LV County Championship match at Wantage Road. After plenty of time was lost to the weather on the first couple of days, Northamptonshire resumed on the third morning on 175 for three, trailing by just 74 runs, but they lost Rob Newton in the fifth full over as he edged a drive off Moen Ashraf to Gary Balance. Newton was out for 43 and was followed next ball by Andrew Hall, who missed a full toss and was LBW for a golden duck. This was just the start Yorkshire wanted, and although they were held up for a short while by Peters and James Middlebrook, they were right back into this match when Middlebrook was legged before to Adil Rashid, with North on 212 for six, still 37 runs behind. Peters had begun the day on 74 and after more than an hour of crease occupation on day three, he moved to his much needed 100. He'd required 208 balls to get there and he reached his milestone with his 12th four. He'd waited a long time to get to three figures and so his celebrations were certainly warranted. Peters was out to an extraordinary catch at short leg by Joe Root for 107, which gave Rashid a third wicket, but then the rain returned yet again before lunch and play didn't recommence until after tea. When it did, Willie produced the innings the game required to move it along. He initially took on the spinners Rashid and Azim Rafiq. Willie had come in with his side on 231 for seven, still trailing by 18, but he helped them move into the lead in partnership with David Murphy, who launched into the second new ball. Without some discussions between the captains, the only chance of a positive result from this game was for Northamptonshire to somehow get well ahead. And with Willie putting back to ball as well as anyone has in this match to date, that started to become a realistic option. Willie has had an encouraging season with the ball and he was now approaching the half-century mark for the fifth time in his career in what was only his 35th first-class innings. He got there with a nudge for two through the leg side, which took him to a 50 at a runner ball, an innings including six boundaries. It was the second time Willie has got to the 50 mark this season. The 22-year-old is a rapidly improving player with both bat and ball. His partnership with Murphy was worth 73 runs and was ended by Rashid, who trapped the wicketkeeper in front for 20 to bring the leg spinner his fourth wicket in his first game back in the side after two months on the sidelines. Willie remained, however, and was soon passing his previous best batting performance of 64 made last season. He was really well supported by 18-year-old Ollie Stone, who was playing in just his second first-class game. He proved that he knows how to hold a bat as these two took the total to 347. Willie was finally out for a superb 76, completely outfoxed by Rashid, who now had five wickets in the innings for the first time since the opening game of last summer. Azim Rafiq then wrapped things up by having last man Lee Daggett taken at slip by Adam Lythe, but not before Northamptonshire had posted 352. That gave them a lead of 103 on first innings and five of those were knocked off by Lythe and Root in the four overs that were left. So Yorkshire head into the last day, 98 runs adrift and with plenty of work still to do to save this match.